If you guys remember, I did a video talking about this engine, then suffer a lot of problems because of the use of water in the coolant system. Um, this engine uh, was run for a long period of time with water, creating a lot of corrosion inside the components of the uh, engine, uh, cylinder liners, engine block, and stuff like that. But that is not the only problem with this engine. The vehicle was run for a long period of time, and when this happened, water was draining of the coolant system because the cylinder liners were broken. There were two cylinder liners that weren't broken, so water was draining and draining and draining to the oil system. And this caused another problem. This problem was overheating because there was no water, there was no coolant present in the engine. The engine overheated. And um, when the engine overheats, it creates many different type of problems. On DD15 engines, it is a different type of problem than creates because DD15 engines use a different type of cylinder head gasket that maintains a really high torque on the head. So it is super hard for the cylinder gasket, cylinder head gasket to go bad. Uh, in this case, the problem went a little different. And that is the reason why we have the head over here, the cylinder head, to show you what is the problem. So, what we want to do right now is grab the flashlight to show you what is the problem. So, if you come on the sides and everything, everything looks normal. See, we don't see any problems. Um, you can see a lot of watermarks. See, this, this is all watermarks. See? water 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 because water has a lot of uh, clorox and all that so this is marks of that stains of water so uh i mean uh basically there is nothing wrong with it until we go under the head the head over here you're gonna see the cylinder you can see the round area of the cylinder you have the balls and everything and uh, we see there is no problems. It looks nice, on, at least on this one. Yeah, but you can see a lot of corrosion. See, this is a lot of corrosion. See, it happened because of the same thing, water. So we go to the next one. Everything looks nice and clean. No problems there. You can see some water marks probably here. But then we go to the next one. Can you see this over here? This is a big crack. Then happened because of an overheated head. You can clearly see that it, that is a noticeable crack. You can see it very good. You don't have to actually pay attention on that, like super hard to get to see that. And we have another one over here. Check it out. There's another one right there and it's super visible as well and we have another one on this one too right there so this cylinder head was damaged simply because that engine ran without water it ran for a long period of time overheated in the in the case of dd15 engines the 15 engines have two coolant sensors, coolant temperature sensor. They have this coolant sensor that is right here. It's the one I'm touching right here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. So they have this one right here and they have another one that goes right here. This one right here. It goes right here where this cable goes. So they have an inlet and an outlet temperature sensor. What this does is then the engine calculates how cold and how hot the water is leaving the engine. This maintains a nice temperature. The engine fan usually works with this one right here. This one right here is the one that measures the hottest water because this is where the hottest water is leaving to the radiator and then goes down from the radiator over here to the bottom, to the thermostat, and to the other temperature sensor. Then is the one that reads the lower temperature of the engine. So the problem is this: 
if this one right here we can say then this one is still reading then there is water for some reason or it's not working well or there is still water because this is a coolant manifold then maintains everything here or or there is a still water coming here but not enough to cool the whole head but enough to maintain the temperature of the engine over here to maintain the, to tell the computer that the temperature of the engine is even when this one is overheating this will not activate the fan and if still this one activate the fans because the temperature is still high but there is no water over here still the engine will get damaged so that is the way this engine had a problem i don't know if this engine uh this truck was running with a trailer or something i have no idea but the way it looks probably it was because this damage is super severe so this cylinder head cannot be reused we have to replace uh, the cylinder head with a new one which uh, on DD15 engines is not that common but in this case we have it right here on common ISX engines it's very common to see cracked cylinder head but on DD15 engines it is not but we have uh, a case right now and uh, it is good to see what other problems we can see on the D15 engines and uh, that that is the reason why it's important if you have a problem if your uh, engine is leaking coolant a lot of coolant or water and it is enough for you to fill it up with water is fine as long as you get to the closer destination and everything but if it's leaking a lot then probably within uh, within five minutes it drains the whole coolant in the system probably you will have to stop and when you stop uh, you have to tow the truck because if you keep driving the truck like this the cylinder head could get a damage and that could be a super serious damage because this is going to be a super expensive repair because nobody will want this head as a core anymore this one will go to the scrap and we have to buy a new head or a rebuild the head and pay the full core because they won't want this head at all but uh, you already got the idea of what a problem like this uh, happens and uh, it happens because of the broken cylinders and um, pro the problem was then it wasn't done the proper way uh, didn't pay attention on what the problem was and that's the reason why this one broke like that but um, this is all I have for you at the moment um, I guess I was very clear on this video but if I wasn't just use the comment section below and ask that uh, question then probably it wasn't answered on this video I will try to answer myself but sometimes I am very busy taking care of some other stuff if you can answer other people's questions that would be better so that way you can give a different answer then probably could be more informative than the one I'm going to give so uh, it's very important that you guys share that the comment section below is very important also if you have any experiences about this problem right here uh, problem with the cylinder head because of overheated engine it's very important you guys can share it because that way we can learn different stuff probably you guys have more experiences about this and uh, we can all learn from you i can learn from you and uh, if you want to ask me something directly go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube ask me anything just stay uh, uh, be patient at the moment i will try to get to you as soon as i can and uh, when i want to send support just check the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel and um, as always subscribe to the channel like the video and thank you for watching